How was your Valentine's Day? If you didn't get the love you wanted, you can still let love in by expanding your heart chakra. Our next guest says chakras are energy centers that manage every part of your being. And in the center of our chest dwells the heart chakra, which manages all things love, romance, and relationship. Energy healer Cindy Dale is here to tell us all about this love chakra. Welcome to the show, Cindy. Thank you. Let's let the love shine, right? Yes. Even if we didn't have the world's best Valentine's Day. <laughs> so tell us, what is the heart chakra? Well, it's the center of the chakra system. Like you said, chakras are energy centers. They're so powerful because they manage the 99.99999 dot, dot, dot percent of us that's invisible. So this is the energy center, as that picture shows, right in the middle of the chest that tells the world what you want. It's not what's in the head that makes the difference. It's what's in the heart chakra because it has the uh, the greatest energy field, uh, electromagnetic field, sound field of any other part of the body. So you know what? If you're not getting love, you probably want to mix up the message that you're giving out. <laughs> so what is the key there, Cindy, to that heart chakra for loving of any type? Well, I mean, this is going to sound like everybody else, but it really starts with self-love. I mean, you've got to feel good about yourself. And even where you feel bad about yourself, I think you can decide to feel good about yourself. When I make a mistake, I always say to myself, oh, wow, look, I'm just, I'm going to learn something through this. So the more you can focus on the dynamic inside, you know, and appreciate yourself, be grateful for yourself, kind of go, well, I'm learning something that changes the programs that are in the middle of the heart chakra. Because if you've got oh, that old loneliness and self, you know, despair, and you don't, you know, kind of think the best thing about yourself, that's what goes out there. And you're going to attract people who are going to agree with you. And you don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like what you're putting out, what you want to bring in. Now, is there an actual link between this heart chakra and your physical heart? Uh, there absolutely is. And I'm fascinated by the research into the physical heart. That physical muscle gives off 5,000 times more electromagnetic activity or light than your brain does, or any other organ wow. for that matter. 60,000 times more energy electrically than your brain does. So, you know, it's been shown and science is starting to show this, that whatever you're feeling, you know, kind of on the inside, if you've got some version of joy on the inside, your heart energy field goes out there and people can sense it. People can read it. They'll start to do what's called entrain. Like if you're feeling really cool or you're saying, you know what, this is a good day. People will perk up and they'll start feeling the same way because two hearts beat at one. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Their heart will actually match what energy your heart is giving off. It's fascinating research. Wow, this is very insightful. And then I can imagine some people may be a little bit more open. Others may have more of a blocked heart chakra. What are the causes of those? Well, I think most of us know why we might be blocked. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's see, some tough upbringings, bad relationships. But you know, I was just working with a couple. They're only 22, 23. They've been going through lots of struggles and she knows all that. She's like, you know, my dad's an alcoholic. He left the family. And so she keeps triggering with her boyfriend. And you know, when he shows up, she feels bad. When he doesn't show up, she feels bad. You're not gonna make a relationship work that way. So I said, you know, you can change that. You can just start to feel inside, you know, a little different about your history and just say, I've learned, I've grown, I'm getting bigger and stronger. And, you know, you can be 60 or 70 and change your attitudes about what's happened to you and just say, I've got some scars, makes my heart stronger. I'm still going to open up and put good energy into the world. It's really about focus. Yeah, you don't right. have to walk around all the time. Oh, yeah, good. But you know, we're not, we don't have to be perfect. I'm not one of these people say you always have to be happy because I'm sorry when I'm not happy, I'm not happy. <laughs> but <laughs> if you get up in the morning and you say, I'm going to beam appreciation or gratitude or true love, you just decide it. That power of decision will keep on emanating those positive frequencies, that's what we call them in the energy field, 
even if you go up and down during the day. So you can't really blow it. Be human for goodness sake. We're not robots. And any other advice or techniques that really will help us let that love in? Well, start practicing <laughs> letting the love in. Um, so when people compliment you, breathe it in. Most of us turn red and change the subject. <laughs> when, <laughs> when somebody tells us good job, let it in. And conversely, if somebody starts to dump on us, we know what that feels. And it really doesn't fit. You can just decide, you know what? That doesn't suit me. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to walk away. So start to make some conscious and conscientious mm -hmm. decisions about what you're going to let in or not, because we can decide that. You know, we've all had that person yell at us, you know, because they took our parking spot. <laughs> so <laughs> ignore it. Ignore it. All right. Don't wait. <laughs> Cindy, very good. I love some of the insights you shared with us. For more on chakras and healing, you can visit cindydale.com.